Welcome to the tutorial about i3. We are gonna make a February update of 2017. We are at the moment on Linux Mint 18.1 Mate. I've made lots of tutorials about um, Compis and Compton and all that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our Compton.com file to the i3. So whenever I go to uh, different operating systems, I check out if I can install i3 on it. And if um, I've made a new content file, which I have, I'm gonna try that as well on i3. So this it's gonna be an installation of i3, first off. And it's gonna be also an, uh, an update of the i3 version I have on my GitHub. So in the meantime, you've read uh, what the system is and what it can do and, and what uh, icons it has and so on. So um, we go to Eric, Do Eric Dubois GitHub. So you just Google it. And indeed, by the by, we have uh, made a tutorial about Compass on uh, ericdubois.be. So you just Google Eric Dubois GitHub. And then you have to figure out what this is about. So we're talking about i3. So, well, here it is already. So you press Linux Mint and i3 or something like that and this is the one you want you git clone it if you don't know what i mean you just download it and then you go to this one here let's get rid of this one let's control shift i and this is the one we download it we right mouse click it extract here mix mint and this is your file it's gonna be this is what we're gonna change and this is our installation we should for do this first so there are two steps there is one that's the standard repo with no gaps and I'm gonna install the gaps over it why two um, ways so run in terminal is okay for me we can also do it in a, an open right mouse click terminal and so on um, yeah so everything has been installed already so just bear that in mind so this has also other elements so we need these there's the menu and the lock system and all that but this one well this is actually the standard one now but we're gonna override that one with number two so we install these dependencies it go very fast because everything has been installed already so it says done 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 which is great for my tutorial so we'll, it, it will take a bit longer, but some of these things will really be downloaded, uh, run internal, really be cloned, and, and voila, we're off to make and install to build actually this program. So we need this XCB, I still need it, it's not available in our standard repositories, so we need to build it ourselves, because since May or so, uh, i3 is depending on this. All right, this has been installed. No strange messages, messages, and we run again this one. So this is the i3 with some adaptations. You have gaps in i3, which leads us to see the wallpaper behind it and makes it uh, quite nice, nice look. But personal choices are what they are, personal. Okay, I've uh, I put a little line behind it, so you saw the version, uh, right mouse click, uh, version I i3, you just type in like so, and you know what we've installed. The repository, standard repository was 4.11, so we've upgraded it to 13. That was step one, so actually we can go ahead, but don't do that. Go to step two, install this as well. I, have, I did not install it, so I'm gonna run it now. G4, G4, voila. And it's gonna get everything it's gonna need. 
this is gonna take a while I thought some compass effects in the meantime strange how all that works we're on mate and we activated compass that's all documented in an article and it's also on the github so G4 has been installed, thank you very much. And then we go to step three. We double click this font awesome and you just say install font. I have already installed it. So it doesn't agree. Style bats is for the, the conky. So it's already installed, I know, just clicked it. And then install extra software, things to change the fonts, the icons, the theme, Alex appearance, QT4 and stuff like that, notify things, LSB release, lots of information, sound and all that. So the font is not installed, yes do install the font, now it's successfully installed, okay fine. Step 3 is done, step 4, copy i3 files to config i3 folder. Let's open it so you know what's happening. It's actually going to git clone it again, but this time it's gonna put it in a specific folder, which is this one. This is our destination. You can do this manually, and everything that you will by clicking here will be installed in this folder. So that's it, basically. You're gonna get it again and clone it. But I did already that, so I made already a copy so config i3 is already available so that's done step four step five is personal stuff so gimp scripts chrome screenshot bookmark settings uh, you do not need to do that it's just check out what's inside and do whatever you want to copy so i'm copying and that's that we have installed i3 on Linux Mint, so it doesn't matter if you have a Mate or an XFCE. This, this, the scripts here on just work, and that's why I put it here. And how to install? It doesn't matter. It's um, i3. It goes with me on on Tergos, on Arch, on Ubuntu, on Solos. Uh, you move it around. It's a Compton, a config file here, and a Compton com file, and that's it. About this Compton file, um, well, maybe I can do it this way. So I've been working on mates, all different kind of mates, you know, or mate, I should say, but I always say mate. So it's uh, more emotional, more sounds better. So Ultimate Linux Mate 18.1 mate mate. There is a folder personal in settings, Compton. There is these files I've been working on. The question is, will these files be better, worse than the file I have? So you can go to any GitHub from any person, Control A this one, Control C, get it down there, go to your i3 folder, and we have this Compton Conf here, Control C, Control V, and well, we can go inside, delete everything, and of course, I've lost it again. Control C and then back here. Control A, Control V, save. So this is the code from somebody else, and we have now new Compton Conf code. And the question is, how will it look? So that's how easy it is to install. I don't think the movie is that long, um, but uh, we're gonna stop here, log back on, and check out i3.